God, what a trip. I'm so over it. It was such a driving force of my life for decades. Woodstock. God. It overtook my mind, my heart. It affected my feelings about music. Smoking and drinking and partying. And now I'm over it. I'm really over it. Like, okay over it. Like, I'll never regret a single moment of it. I'll never, never regret it. But it's done. Literally five minutes ago, ten minutes ago, Richie Haven's ashes pouring out of the airplane above these, this field here, which I'm walking down the hill. I'm walking down toward where the... I'm walking down right now toward where the show was in 69. I'm going to go see the... Woodstock Memorial, my one and only time here at Woodstock, and now it's called the uh, Bethel Arts Center. But I'm ready to go. I'm ready to move on to the next thing. I'm ready to maintain peace and love, except not as this sort of nostalgic thing that it was certainly in the 80s when I was growing up, um, but as something alive in my heart. And... Um, Fresh fruits and vegetables, juices, that's what I'm going to be doing. That's my new Woodstock. Starting today, I'm going to stick with that. The very minimal, uh, minimum uh, a, a vegetarian, a full vegetarian, but I think I'm going full vegan for one year. Minimum vegan. And then uh, I'm going to experiment with raw, raw food. I'm going to experiment with fruit only. I'm going to do some detox fasting for one year. And one year from now, I'm going to return up to this area of New York State and go to the Woodstock Fruit Festival 2014, which will be in August of uh, next year. It's, a, it's going on right now. I'm missing it right now. It started today. So... There's just a lot of karmic, intense energy for me <laughs> to kind of let go of let go of all my associations that I tie back to Woodstock and always have, romanticizing it in a sense and uh, creating new associations to regenerate my cells and regenerate myself and my consciousness. I've already made incredible progress in two months by simply doing w nothing but adding fruit, mostly fruit and vegetable, well, all fruit and vegetable juices. It wasn't mostly fruit, it's mostly been a, a mix of fruit and vegetable juices, watermelon, uh, cucumber, eating tons of salads, but also experimenting a lot with raw food, not eating meats, not eating dairy, not having cheese, not eating eggs. It took me some time to phase off of that over the course of a month, but now I'm at three months with no coffee. I'm starting to feel like a different human being. I'm starting to feel younger. I have this odd feeling that I'm becoming younger. And that's what I want to do too, man. I saw a video yesterday of a guy who was 108 years old, and you could not, you could not figure him for any later than, I don't know, 60. He didn't have a lick of gray hair either. He's been eating vegan for a hundred years. How about that? Anyway, I am uh, heading over to the Woodstock Memorial. Say my homage to the place. Take my wife and kids and head back home after this. And I'll be back in Woodstock in a year. Right here. Right here, man. Right behind me. Jimi Hendrix. The Who, Crosby, Stills, Nash and Young. How much cooler can that be, huh? Till next year, peace out.